baby. Baby, my love gives you everything. What could I possibly get you for your birthday to make you happy? I said, baby, I want another tattoo. In this one, TC is going to get a tattoo. He's getting it done here at Shangri-La. Shannon is the tattooist, and she's one of my favorite tattooists. She's done some work for me. I can't get any work right now because my doctor said no for right now. In the future, so I have to live vicariously through TC, and she's got beautiful ink as it is, and um, so we're gonna we're gonna do a tattoo reveal here. So anyway. This is Shannon over here. Hi guys. And of course. The beautiful TC. Beautiful TC. And. This is our friend Roger, Roger Fu from Taiwan. And guest yes, spotting here. Guest artist visiting from Taiwan. Excellent. So this is gonna be awesome. Yep. So are we, do we know what we're doing? Yeah, we're gonna mm -hmm. look at our work first. I'm gonna bring it over and we're gonna make a couple decisions. Okay. okay so All right. right, here we go. <laughs> You know, we're not necessarily we looking already, at yeah, any we of that have, imagery. We already have the one weather vane. We'll right, I don't it. know that, I don't think we need another no. weather vane. So I don't need that. But I pulled this floral piece, and of course it would be in color. This is black and white. Right. But I thought it would make a really nice segue to go to segue, the garden. Segway, exactly. You know, so it isn't just brown tree disappearing behind this. No, like, let's I have like that. floral here because it goes with how ornamental and feminine and delicate that piece is. We'll bring those florals out here kind of like this mm -hmm. and have the tree and the cat behind it. So it's going to be a lot smaller than you see here. Of, of course. course. All size, everything. And then I just wanted to... No, that's perfect. I wanted to bring this out because we know we want to use, use these guys. So maybe use those as some And they can be, a, yeah, and they can be, you know, a bottom border. You could even have just like these guys here. Maybe oh, yeah. we'll see. Okay. Um, I mean, I I don't know that we'll how much we'll, we'll get, get to. Right today. This is a lot. It's all so tight and and detailed. Because that's what I do. I give you all the. Because that's what you do to me. <laughs> that's what you do for me, TC. <laughs> um, so we're gonna size this. We'll go in the back, and I'll just get some sizes worked out, and then I'll make a transfer. That'll take me a minute or two, and then we'll we'll get ready to roll. That, that sounds great. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, I that's the reason why I love this. Like how it how it how how it's like. Is it, you know how tattoos do do that natural little tiny little bit bleed as it gets. Well, yeah. My stuff. gosh, her face is practically gone. What are you saying? We need yeah. to do give her I know, a facelift. But, but at the same time, I love it because it looks so like traditionally art. You know. Well, and you're getting some sun. You can't lie to me. I I cannot lie. I've had and the sun stuff. will eat that stuff up. So yeah. get your sunscreen on there, or wear short sleeves. Or I've been, I have. You know, the, you know the problem was, is I had my vitamin D bottomed out so. So you had to sit in the sun. I had. I was taking supplements and try to get as much sun in me as yeah. possible. I mean, I was like almost like you put a baby sleep. diaper over this and this and be naked. That, that should. Yeah. I'm gonna do that from <laughs> now on. I'm gonna have a baby diaper on both on. Uh, that's great. Okay. All right. So uh, we'll go into the back here and we'll just look at the mirror because I need to see what the relative sizes okay. are. Okay. <laughs> Decided she wanted to move the placement just a little bit over, which, looking at it, makes it absolutely a lot of sense. So she see has a theme going here. To say the least. We're adding to the theme. What are we adding? We're oh. adding Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat. Roger, when I showed this to him, he said, oh, the misery cat. 
misery cat? <laughs> misery cat. That's the that's like translation. Yeah, that's what he calls it. Oh wow. And I thought I'm calling it that from now on. All right, Miss Shannon, where are we at? Well, we've got a bunch of crazy looking marks on Tishi's arms. Arm that will actually become somewhat of a coherent and hopefully beautiful tattoo. It will be beautiful. It always is beautiful. Shannon did all of this. But we're doing the Cheshire Cat, AKA the Misery Cat. <laughs> and he's in a tree with leaves. We've got a rose that's coming in because we I want it to kind of bring, there's a continuity then from this arm to that just with at least one rose. Maybe we'll have another one down here too couple of flowers. I don't know how much we'll get to, but I'm ready for anything. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can hold true to past history and see if I fall asleep again on her. That would be awesome. <laughs> I want to lay down with her right now is what I want to do. This part right here. And I'll be filming at that point. But Laying down. this right here, this section of the arm by most tattoo artists is considered prime real estate. Okay, tattoo artists love tattooing the inside of an arm. Isn't that right, Shannon? Oh, we love it. So the very first time I ever became acquainted with Shannon's work was in a tattoo magazine that I saw when I was 19 years old and going to college. And when I moved out to LA, I had no clue where Shannon was working at, what she was doing, if she was still tattooing, if she lived in California. I didn't know anything about what was up with Shannon. She ended up doing a friend of a friend's um, piece on her neck or behind her ears and then did my friend's back. And when I saw it, my friend goes, oh, it's Shannon. And I went, please give me her information. I've been trying to track her down for years. And then I proceeded to hound Shannon for two weeks and told her she had to do this tattoo. And I saw that and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> that is really and a that's crazy my, thing. And that was my first tattoo. <laughs> and it's, we've switched over like most high quality shops to all single use disposable everything. It just right. cuts out any possibility for problems right this piece of equipment here the uh value clave 1730 which is a very expensive machine has become completely obsolete no use for it i need to put it on ebay or something all right you're about ready to get the first buzz i know how do you feel uh, you know, I'll start tensing up for a few seconds and then I'll relax into it and then I'll probably eventually fall asleep. Well, until she gets right there, I might wake up for that. So I'm just going to run some lines, soft gray lines. Of course, we have to start in this horrible place down here. Mm -hmm. How you doing, baby? Yeah, I'm so trying nice. to stay awake. Trying to stay awake, talking to stay awake. The second hour. All right, we're gonna check in on TC a little bit. It looks like she's sleeping, but I don't think she is. But I can't tickle her or do any of the stuff I normally do. No. Blush. I'm still doing a little shading now. We're coloring. We're coloring some blue in the cat now. He gets a very soft kind of watercolor blue treatment. So I'm just 
We already did some shading. I'm bringing in some kind of a pale dusty blue over the shading and feathering it out. Because we're working with um, another artist's piece, we want to try to hold to his style. And he has a very soft watercolor style. He doesn't do thick, saturated colors. They're kind of washy. So I'm trying to get that quality. But I love this Cheshire Cat. It's just a really distinctive version of the Cheshire Cat. And I'm yeah. I think he's just trying to stay I awake. I fall asleep when I get tattoos. It's like getting a massage with like a scratchy thing. I, I really love the face. I think we really nailed that. The paintings that her tattoos are based on are done by a famous painter named Angel Dominguez. And he did a readaption of Alice in Wonderland, and the book came out in 1996. Basically, was awesome. He saw my tattoos. I mentioned him in every interview I've done about my tattoos, and me and him got in touch. And he was absolutely thrilled that I had his paintings tattooed on me. He is yeah. Spanish, mm. but based out of um, France, and he is currently working on a book. Um, his version of Wind in the Willows, and he recently had a stroke and has been battling back to do it, and he's back to doing art again, which is amazing. Angel Domingo, and he's so nice. He's like one of the sweetest guys there is out there. He checks up on me regularly. No. How much time do you have left tonight, you think? Well, I think we're going to stop at the two and a half hour mark. That gives us about another 20 minutes. He's so excited. I, I already am. I can see what little I can see. Yeah, there's no there's no claws in this one. Well, they're just little. Yeah, they're not. Like some of the other drawings, his claws are out. Yeah, he's really a misery cat. What do you think, babe? You loving it? I know I'm loving it. Take a look at Well, it looks like we're going to be done for the night. Yeah. I love that. I, I'm beginning to feel balanced. Yes! Great. His teeth are bleeding though. Well, it's gonna happen. He has he, gingivitis. Yeah. He has a gingivitis kitty. <laughs> but his teeth are white. That happened with you know that happened with I think with Alice's face. Remember oh, she had yeah. like a she had like an orangey pinky face? Yeah. Oh, he's got the gingivitis, the kitty. <laughs> hey Roger. Do you wanna see this? Do you wanna see where this? we get to today? About halfway. Wow. Misery cat. <laughs> yeah, misery cat. <laughs> He's got gingivitis right now. Yeah, his teeth are white, so now they're blue. Mm -hmm. Cute, huh? Dude, I like that cat. And then the, we just did a little bit on the flowers. Oh, learning from the past, huh? No way. He, I learned from him. He's so great. Back and forth, back and forth. I'm just really happy because this this perfectly flows from these koi. Yeah, the yeah. No, I baby mean, koi. To have it work in with the piece you already have is really important. No, this is. I mean, this is just perfect. And I love how the tree goes into the mucha. Blade. Yeah, well, I mean, look at the crazy tree this guy draws. So much. Yeah. But we'll make it, you know, close to that look. As we and, and the thing about it is, when you, when you put the two arms together and you see the future, the way this swirls and yeah. going in with that, I mean, that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's good. No, this is just. Do you hear about the two legs that got together and made an ass of themselves? <laughs>